Hi there, Massimo from the Blue Root team. And today I'm gonna do a slightly different video than what I typically do. I get this question a lot. I see people Google it a lot and I thought I should distill it down. And the question is simply, what is Doho, right? That, that's a pretty general question, but I, I hear people ask that a lot in my meetings. Tell me about Zoho, what are they, who are they, etc. So in this video, I'm going to explain what is Zoho, who they are, what I know about them, why I like them, and where I think they're going. So I really hope you enjoy this video. Obviously, this is a question that uh, is fairly general, but I'm going to do my best to highlight some very key points on what they are, who they are, and why they're so great. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. I'd really love to hear feedback on this video. I don't typically do videos like this. And feel free to join my office members. I'll have a link below. Everyone's welcome. The group setting, you can talk with me, learn about Zoho, ask me anything really. See you in the video. Okay, so. What is Zoho? I'm gonna do my best to explain this in under five minutes. I mean, at its heart and soul, Zoho is a software company. In my opinion, a very, very impressive one. I'm obviously biased. I work with Zoho every day, but here's what I know of Zoho. And I've personally, just for credibility or context, I've worked hand in hand with Zoho for almost 10 years. I've actually been to their head office in Chennai, India. I've been to their California office, their Austin office. I probably know hundreds of people at Zoho, although there are thousands that work there. Zoho is a company that takes an untraditional or non-traditional method to building software. And that is they're completely bootstrapped. They have been from day one, which basically means they're self-funded. And because of that, they've had to focus on profitability. They've had to focus on internalizing a lot of costs instead of outsourcing them. And what that has turned into is a product offering that has 40 plus applications. And the crazy part is all of these applications are built on the cloud. Zoho started over 20 years ago building applications on the cloud and they use all of them in some way internally, which is a really, really cool tool. Like you'll find a lot of other software companies out there that don't use their own software because they don't try to. And Zoho has always had a build first mentality, which for those of you looking at softwares is a very, very interesting model where Zoho will build something internally instead of buying something. So they won't go out there and spend millions of dollars on a new, I don't know, intranet software. They'll build their own and they'll find a way to build it into their suite. And that's why Zoho One is so powerful and so interconnected because all of these apps are actually built by developers in-house at Zoho. And so you don't have to use all these apps. Zoho lets you do it a la carte, or you can buy it in Zoho One and turn them on over time. But what Zoho is doing is building a suite of products that is so integrated, it, it's almost unmatched. Like I don't see a lot of softwares that do this out there and do it well, and especially the affordability. So Zoho is based in, in in India. They've got our, over, I don't know, six, 8,000 employees over there. They're growing all the time. They've got many hundreds and thousands in North America and Europe and Asia and all kinds of places as well. And what they continue to do is basically find a niche that needs to be built, find an app that needs to be built, build it in their suite, bundle it. And what their executives at the company are really trying to do, which is a really, really neat model is they're trying to reduce the barriers to starting your own business a lot or just having a business right a lot of the barriers to having a business in the past were expensive software non-interconnectivity between software having to buy big software suites like sap or e like big erps right and so what zoho has done is they've bundled it all into a very affordable model and they've been able to do that because they are bootstrapped. So one of the neat things with Zoho is you won't have to, you're not gonna see all these price increases all the time because they don't have to. They're bootstrapped, they control their costs. They're not publicly traded. And I'm not saying there's anything bad with a publicly traded company, but they have obligations to a shareholder, publicly traded companies. Zoho does not. They can choose what they can, what they can do with their money. And what Zoho always chooses first is R&D and better product suite. That's probably why you haven't heard of Zoho. They don't spend a lot of money on marketing. And that's a conscious decision by them and one that has really worked in their favor. They've grown to 70 plus million users 
via word of mouth. Now, don't get me wrong. They have had some marketing sprinkled in there, but they don't do outbound calls. They don't do big marketing pushes and they choose not to. And they choose to put their money back into their product. You can see here, I'm on a page, Zoho. There's all kinds of apps here. There's many of them. I would encourage you to check it out. They're very easy to use, simple. Zoho has always had the, the, the mindset of small to medium business. So if you're a company with under a few hundred employees and usually the average I see out there is like 30 uh, or less, it's kind of the realm I see a lot of Zoho clients. This is definitely a suite you should try. If I were to sum it up in a couple sentences, they're a very honest company. They are very focused, just like their tagline. This is their life's work, right? And they are continuing to pump money and investment into their product suite and not to IPO or something like that. It's to continue providing value because they know at the end of the day, that's what wins. And it's a very user-friendly suite, which I think is really important these days. A lot of software companies lose track of the user-friendliness. Uh, they just pump in features. In short, I don't think you'll be disappointed. And so Zoho is a really phenomenal software company. One of my favorites. Feel free to join my office hours, ask me more questions about it. Let me know what you thought of this video. It was kind of an opinion piece in a way, but also an explanation. But I, I'm getting a lot of people asking this to me and I thought I'd try to sum it up in, in, in a little video. See you next time.